Hi Amy, it's Christine from Fiddleheads Artisan Bakery. I'm here today to show you how to make chocolate espresso truffles. First we're going to start with our cream. This is just regular heavy cream you can buy at the grocery store. And we're going to just go ahead and pour it into our saucepan. And turn on our burner. And we don't want to bring it to a hard boil, but we do want to bring it up to a boil, just barely. Now we've reached a gentle boil, so we're going to go ahead and turn off the heat. Um, I've already pre-crushed some of our Fiddlehead's espresso beans, and we're going to go ahead and put it into the cream. And we're just going to mix it in gently. Now we're going to steep this mixture for about 20 minutes, and we're going to do that covered with some plastic wrap. Just going to infuse the flavors from those beans into our cream. Now it's been 20 minutes. We've got all of those great flavors infused into our cream. And we are going to go ahead and add it to our bittersweet chocolate mixture. Make sure you have small enough pieces of chocolate when you're straining this over the chocolate um, to make sure that it all melts. I use a chinois for that. Um, you can also just use a standard strainer. Just make sure that it doesn't have too large of holes. I'm going to go ahead and just pour it over the chocolate. Make sure you get all the cream out of it. And we're going to make sure all the chocolate is fully covered by the cream. I recommend now that we let this sit for about a minute to make sure all the chocolate does get melted. Once it's melted, we'll go ahead and gently whisk the mixture together. And you're going to get a really nice velvety mixture. And this is actually called a ganache. Um, so we are making a truffle ganache. All right. Once you've got that all mixed together, we are going to go ahead and cover it again. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator for a few hours, just until it sets up and it's easy to scoop. So I have a batch here that I made a little bit earlier today. So it's all ready and set up, ready to scoop. So I'm just going to take a small spoon and just scrape a little bit off the top. And I put it onto a chilled tray. Now we're not going to be able to roll it quite yet. Um, it is going to need to sit there for a few minutes um, while we scoop. And then we're going to go ahead and throw it in the freezer just till it sets up enough to roll into nice balls. And if you want to be more accurate, you can weigh these. Or um, I also sometimes use a tablespoon. So now that we've chilled these, we can actually roll them. Um, I rolled these already, but we always, right before we dip them, we want to make sure that they are nice round spheres. And then we have our melted dark chocolate over here ready to go. Now I like to make sure I keep one hand clean while I'm dipping because it does take two hands for this process. So I'll go ahead and just rub some chocolate onto my hand, not too much, and you don't want it too hot that it's going to melt the truffle itself. Just a nice even coat. I'm just going to roll it around in your hand and you'll drop it into the sugar cocoa powder mixture. It's just half cocoa powder and half powdered sugar. And we're going to shake it off and go ahead and set it on the tray again. Now the best way to get an even coat on these is to dip it twice. So once I've rolled it in the powdered sugar the first time, I'll let it set up and then I'll go ahead and you can see, well you can't see, but you can feel it's already hard. Um, the shell has hardened on the outside. We're going to roll it one more time and then we're going to go ahead and have our finished truffle. Now as they sit, they are going to get darker in color. Um, so they will look more like an actual truffle. We also use it as a filler for our chocolate truffle muffin here in the bakery. Try this at home or come visit us in Thienesville.